All right, let's talk about local SEO. So if SEO is the process of optimizing a website and a digital presence to rank well in search engines, local SEO is about doing the same thing in a local geographically constrained area. So we're trying to rank, in this case, we're trying to rank Leslie Adams just in the Austin area because she only trains people in person. It's a hypothetical business, but you know what I'm saying. There's a few different things we can do to improve her rankings in her specific area. One of the first things we want to do is create a Google business account. So you can do that at business.google.com, and their website looks like this. They talk a little bit about what they've got going on, send out on Google with a free business profile. It's free, it's easy, it's personalized. They're right, it's a free service that's going to help you rank a lot better on Google. That's because when you search for a search term, and here we have personal training Austin, Texas, the first thing that shows up is the Google Maps pack here. Now, all these are Google business profiles, so these companies have set up their profiles, and they're collecting reviews. Now, the people that show up on here in this map pack, above all the other organic search results, it's determined by a few different factors. So one is determined by location, by the proximity of the business to the searcher, in this case me, and then it's also determined by the number of reviews and the quality of those reviews. So companies that have the most five-star reviews, and here it looks like Austin Simply Fit is going to win, they're going to show up first. And these four companies are probably four of the companies that have the most high-quality reviews. And then Heavy Metal Fitness, they're paying for it. But they might not even really need to pay for that, that placing because, look, I mean, they have probably enough reviews to rank well anyway. So that's why you want to set up a Google Business Profile because then you can get on Google Maps and then you can start collecting reviews and then get in this spot and also show up better when people are searching on maps for your service. For example, if you're a gym, people are going to often just go to Google Maps and search gyms near me because what they want to find is the best service they can that's the closest to them so they don't have to drive a long way to, to use that service. So what I recommend doing is once you've set up your Google business profile, you can get a short link from Google in your Google business profile, and I would just text that to all of your clients every time you have a successful project or you successfully help a client, just shoot them a text that says, hey, it was great working with you. If you have a second, could you quickly review my business? It would be a huge help to me. And then send them the link and just try to collect as many reviews as possible. So that's basically a shortcut. Just skip the line, skip all these organic search results that you have to fight your way up. Uh, just get more reviews than everybody else and you can skip that line. And a lot of companies, personal trainers might be good at it, but a lot of industries, they're horrible about getting reviews. So there's often some pretty good opportunity. Now, a couple other things you can do to improve your local search rankings. If you see these search results, you'll see things like Yelp. You'll see other listings. So you can contact these listing websites to, to get your site listed or create a prof profile. It just depends on the industry. Some of them you can create your profile yourself, like on Yelp. So you can also build some links like that, which would also help your search ranking. So you need to do those things. And then on your website, in the Wix editor, you want to add location-specific text. So... Here, in our hero section here, maybe we would actually want this to be Leslie Adams Fitness Trainer in Austin, Texas. We want to mention that location. And uh, one really great place to do this is in the footer. So we can put the footer, we can put text in the footer here, and then the footer is going to show up on every page, which means the location information is going to show up. And then the last thing we would want to have is a map. So we can add a new strip up here. If we click the plus sign, and then we come here to strips, put a new one in, and maybe make this a little bigger. Then we'll hit the plus sign, and we'll use the maps. And I'll just search for that. And grab a full width Google map. Mm, maybe the yellow kind of matches. And then, in Manage Locations, we can put in our location, our address, Austin, Texas, Leslie Adams Training. Come train with us. Okay. And so this map is a great signal to Google to tell Google exactly where you are. Now, the last thing we can do on local SEO is we can create local content. So we could write blog posts. You remember we have the blog. We could write localized blog posts, things like five awesome places to work out in Austin, five secret beaches to go paddleboarding at in Austin, 
local things that local only local people would be searching for. You can use your service service keywords in combination with your location keywords, you know, personal training Austin. You, so you can add more of those things, um, but then you can also try to rank for other things that people in your local area might be searching for. Again, like where's the best place to work out in Austin or 10 best Austin gyms. You could have a you could have a list. So those are some of the some of the main main ways to improve your local SEO ranking. You want to set up a Google business profile, get as many good reviews as possible, add location information and a map to your site design, and then create local content that people might actually be searching for.